Welcome back to Ada Mortals, everyone. Hope you're enjoying the sunshine and snow as much as I am. So today we're gonna to talk about the best technique for self-defense. You're probably expecting uh, for me to describe the front kick in Wing Chun or um, trying to think of what else, the, the straight punch, all kinds of different techniques that we have. And I'll tell you the real best technique for self-defense. And I know you're gonna think it's disingenuous and maybe turn off the video, but that's okay. In Taoism, we have what's called three treasures. The three treasures in Taoism are compassion, humility, moderation. My experience, 50 years old, having dealt with many, many conflicts, okay? Being youth worker uh, in so many different scenarios. I was youth worker in Moss Park for 10 years and I had to deal with all kinds of different people, deal with all kinds of different energies all the time, daily basis, nightly basis, okay? The best technique for self-defense is compassion. How can that be a technique for self-defense? Here's a secret, okay? Important secret. So many times in your life, you're gonna have people bringing all kinds of different energy to you. Sometimes it can be aggressive energy. Some 90% of the time, it's through some kind of mental health or substance abuse situation that's gonna create the dynamic, okay? How you respond to that dynamic almost always is gonna determine whether it turns into a physical altercation or something completely different that can be dif diffused, okay? The energy that you bring to it, okay? I know you're probably looking at certain times in your life, I have had those times where you're attacked by someone, there's nothing you can do about it, then you have to physically defend yourself. Those times are extremely rare, extremely rare where that actually happens, okay? If you're honest with yourself and you look back at certain situations, many times, Okay, when that happens, it's because also you're bringing a certain energy to the situation. This is particularly true uh, in some cases when people are learning a fighting art, of course then they get to be on, start to get on a hair trigger where they're practicing fighting so much, everything starts to seem like a fighting scenario. Then when it comes a time, I guess it makes sense to a certain extent, you practice the skills all the time, you're always practicing fighting. And if you're not using that stuff in sparring or whatever, then someone is aggressive or says something to you don't like and all of a sudden this seems like an opportunity now you're going to use your martial art okay that's not what kung fu is for that's not that's a misuse of kung fu okay never mind just wing chun any kind of kung fu that's not our tradition so when i say compassion here's the secret we're all human beings this person who's having a hard day or maybe hard life or dealing with all kinds of uh, issues that you may not be aware of, there's still a human being there, okay? Always, first number one, you treat people with compassion. Everyone, every living thing you treat with compassion. When you do that, it changes the dynamic, okay? So even this person who has mental health, who's having a hard day, will be able to see the energy you bring into it is not aggressive energy. So for those of, if you're on a hair trigger and someone comes up and they're shouting abusive stuff or whatever, and your, your first reaction is you're gonna, now they're being aggressive, so I'm gonna knock them out, okay? Then now you've added to this situation. You're bringing also something negative. There's no balance there, okay? You're not balancing the negative with the positive. You're just bringing, add more negative to the situation, which in turn will make it more negative because then tragedy can come out of that, all kinds of different things. You have to think, okay? Especially for those of you who are younger, just starting out. Imagine the ramifications for you as well as this other person, okay? Someone has mental health issues, they come up, they're shouting abuse at you or whatever. Your first go-to is you're gonna use your Kung Fu or whatever and go attack this person. Then you say, okay, I, I've already, I know BUG, I'm gonna use the throat chop because I feel threatened. Then you end up really injuring, maybe even killing this person. Now what has happened, okay? Obviously for this poor person, who, who you don't know what they've been through, what got them to this point, okay? Now they're lost their life or they have some disability that you've given them, they have to carry with them. Also, you've brought something into yourself, brought something negative into the world, made the world a worse place through your own actions, 
for you, for them, for everyone, for their family, for your all creates all kinds of negative spirals that keep going, growing, growing from this action. Okay. The beautiful thing is compassion has the opposite effect. So anytime, anytime you can, okay, which is all the time you can treat people with compassion, regardless of what they're bringing to you. Okay. Lao Tzu says, you requite enmity with virtue. So when someone's bringing bad, you don't respond with more bad, just creates more bad. Okay. You respond with goodness. You respond with compassion. You respond with humility. A true martial artist. All right. Actually, Kung Fu is a way of peace. That means that when you reach a point in your life and your training, your understanding should also be philosophical, your understanding of the world. Then you start to see how things work and how these interact, what these interactions are all about. It, then your, your martial art enhances your ability to be peaceful. Okay. So what I mean by that is if you train long enough and sparred with enough people and been in enough contests in your life to know your own ability, you don't have anything to prove to anyone anymore, let alone, especially not yourself. Okay. I don't have to prove by beating up someone that I'm tough or that I can defend. I don't need to do that. All right. Nor do you. So when you have that understanding, part of that comes through training and experience, you have an understanding. It, it makes it even easier for you to walk away from those situations. Why? Because your ego is no longer involved. Your ego becomes a real enemy there. Okay. That's where humility comes into play is to, to be humble it, to the universe, not to this specific person to recognize what your place is in the universe. So in these situations, anytime when someone is coming at you with negative energy, I'll give you an example, silly example. Someone was very rude to me the other day for no reason at all. Okay. And I could have reacted and been aggressive back, rude back. Then it creates this big shouting scenario. All you have to do is watch the news to see all this stuff. Okay. There's no need for that. I can see the person's having a hard time. So what? They said something stupid to me. Who cares? Okay. My reaction to that person was, see, I, and I said this, I said, it looks to me like you're having a really, really hard day. When I said that and not in an aggressive way, I just said, it seems to me you're having a really, really hard. It looks to me like you're having a really, really hard day. All of a sudden this person changed, almost starts crying, going from shadow, almost starts crying. Turns out I won't go into the details for the person. Not only they're having a hard day, they're having a really terrible time in general, which they all then apologized to me for reacting this way. Okay. Nothing to do with me. They're, what they were saying, nothing to do with me. They're having their own difficult issues. All they actually wanted to do was stop someone clearly because it turned into a long spiel. I didn't even have time for it, telling this long story. Okay. Most of the time you think about someone shouting and screaming, coming up, shout. Why are people shouting and screaming? People shout and scream because they feel like no one's listening to them. Okay. Best self-defense in that situation. Take time, treat people as people, listen to someone, figure out what's going on. Then you're trying to help you become someone who's a helper in this world, not someone who's just there to knock people out and hurt people. That's not what Kung, don't use Kung Fu for that's not what it's meant for. If someone's teaching you that, teaching you the wrong thing. Okay. As a follow up to that, people always surprise me. They talk about, Oh, did you see this fight? This fight in MMA. I don't watch MMA at all. I have no interest in it. And they surprise. They say, well, I thought you're a martial artist. Of course you'd be interested. I have no interest in it. Okay. For the same reason you take these things without context, without philosophy, without a background, an understanding of how to treat people. That's what you're supposed to learn when you learn martial arts. That's what your Sifu or Sensei or whoever your teacher should be teaching you along with these other things. It's all one package, not just techniques to hurt people. Okay. How can I know? I can see from what I've seen of UFC it always ends up someone's on the ground, already beaten. Someone's smashing them in the head with their elbow with blood everywhere. That's grotesque. That's no way to treat another person. There's no need for that. Again, then say, Oh, Kung Fu. That's not our tradition. All right. I have no need. If I'm learning to spar and I love exchanging skills with other people, these, are my Kung Fu brothers and sisters, why do I want to put someone on the ground and smash their head in with my mouth? That's a terrible thing to do to any other human being. No place for it in the civilized world. Okay. So we have ways of exchanging skills. This is supposed to be your friends, your training partners, your, your brothers and sisters, you exchange skills. You should be smiling, laughing afterwards. That's what, that's what it's about. Otherwise, what are you bringing into the world and why? Then you think you have to hurt people to be good at martial arts. Totally not true. Okay. 
I, I've proven for myself many times, people who think they're tough, I, I won't go into it, okay? Doesn't matter, you don't need to do that. So my message for you is compassion should, is number one. How you treat people is number one. If you always look for the best in people, and if someone is at their worst, you try to find a way to make it better. If someone is screaming, you try to diffuse, okay? Then you're gonna find, here's the amazing thing, incredibly rare the time you have to use your fist. Incredibly rare. There's so many other things. That's last resort as you hurt, have to hurt someone. Even in those cases, when you do, someone's so drunk, they're attacking you, whatever, you have no choice. Even then, if possible, 99% of the time it's possible, you can find a way to restrain that person, say, hey, you really don't wanna do that without actually hurting them, okay? Your first go-to shouldn't be poke someone's eyes out or hit them in the throat. That's not, it's not necessary. Not only is it not necessary, it's wrong, it's evil, okay? So I can't teach you philosophy or how to treat people in one video. I want you to think about the idea of that being your compassion. Compassion is the best self-defense. I promise you it's true, okay? I did. Do you know, working in the environments that I worked in, okay, how many t fights I could have got into if I was just flying off the handle all the time, be nonstop like a kung fu movie, okay? I don't want, that's not bringing good into the world. It's not making the world a better place. And that's one of your responsibilities to do that, make the world a better place. Okay, if not, what are you doing here? So, I don't want to lecture and lecture, but I want you to think about that. If you make that your go-to, think first, Look on other people with compassion. Look on your fellow human beings with compassion first, regardless of how they're behaving. You'll be amazed at how you can change this scenario. And it's not about self-defense scenarios. It's about something else, but helping people. Okay? So, until next time, keep training. Can't change the snow, so you might as well enjoy it. All right? I'll see you next time here at Ada Mortals Wing Chun.